I, it's autism time. A subject close to my heart. As an autismo myself. Do I need to make my thumbnails even more cancerous and like this? The title of this video is... If you think this is infantilizing autism... You're wrong. I'm autistic, now what? The pinned comment by the channel itself is... Here we go again, TikTok. If you need something wholesome to watch after this one, did you see last week's autistic Instagram reels? I was almost crying. They're so damn <laughs> relatable. I might have to stop watching this to myself. I posted a video about a month ago now about how autistic advocate and actress, beloved autistic advocate and actress, Chloe Hayden, was basically bullied off is. social media because she posted a video of herself. <laughs> Hold up. We need to... We need to slow down. Okay. Oh, she posted a this is too much for me comment. Hey, butterflies. Due to recent events moving forward, my team will be managing and monitoring all my social media accounts. Over the last year, I've been inundated with several dozen death threats. Detailed, detailed suicide prompts. Are you an AI? Can you just be programmed? And horrific, intricate abuse. Like a picture of you being tortured, but it's with really fine detail and cross-hatching. What's intricate abuse? Each and every day. It's inescapable and is deeply affecting. You need an A there, buddy. My mental and f physical well-being. From here on out. All comments, DMs, tags, and the like will be seen by my team instead of myself, and all hate speech and threatening language will be addressed. ADDRESSED! And immediately reported to federal authorities before being <laughs> blocked. It is vital, vital for you all to know that this behavior isn't tolerated. I'm aware multiple of you have received similar messages, and I urge you to do the same. Suicide is the leading cause of death in people under the age of 44. Autistic people are nine times more likely to die by suicide. Because of this, my life expectancy is 35! <laughs> you can't. No, you can't do it like that. Oh, no. I'm not going to live very long because statistically I'm going to kill myself by 35, most likely. Just don't. Literally just don't. I refuse to allow my platform to contribute to that statistic. My platforms were built on... Tim, stop! I'm providing an anti-suicide message. I'm providing an anti-suicide message. Oh, I'm not saying I'm going to... I'm, I'm parodying what this person is suggesting. I'm not saying me. I was simply will choose not to kill myself ever. It's that easy. My platforms were built to be a welcoming, safe, open haven. And my mission has always been kindness and love. I suppose it's possible that of all things that kill people, it's the single largest, but... That seems... There's no way. Under 44? This is going off Wikipedia. Wikipedia suggests worldwide is the 10th leading cause of death. Fourth leading cause of death among 15 to 29 year olds globally in 2019. Under 44. According to swlstg.nhs.uk in the UK, I presume, it's the most common, second most common cause of death in men aged 15 to 44. With accidental death being number one. The CDC, so this is going to be for the US, yes? Suicide is now the second leading cause of death for the 1 to 44 age group. Still, still there, it's saying second. Did she say the or a? A leading cause of death? Fine, don't say the leading cause of death. Because of this, my life expectancy is 35. Fuck off was basically bullied off social media because she posted a video. Bullied off social media isn't a thing, unless you're talking about people mass reporting you so you literally get deleted, have your access removed. Chose to leave. Chloe Hayden was basically bullied off social media because she posted a video of herself stimming, expressing her autistic joy because she saw a pot of whales and the comments just became really nasty. People started me. Nasty comment. You do not do this on a regular. 6,533 hearts. 
yeah, I, I ain't believe it either. These videos pop off because people think it's cute. No. You shouldn't fucking just accept and believe anything these fucking people are posting online. You don't go, oh, but it's about, it's to do with autism though, so you can't be skeptical of, of a, uh, of a public figure whose entire trade is in public perception. Became no. really nasty. People started making horrible duets that were really mocking. A lovely viewer, you'll know who you are. Alert. People started making duets that were mocking. So, it's funny. Let me see. Right, this is fine. This isn't anti-autism. This is a joke that's meant to attack you on the basis that it's suspected. You've staged a video to pretend to be away, you're not exactly- Are we gonna pretend that people don't present a false image on social media? Do you think having autism means you can't do that or would never do that? No, fuck off. Especially public figures, absolutely fair game for mockery. Wets that were really mocking. A lovely viewer, you'll know who you are, <laughs> alerted me to the fact that this has basically happened again. On New Year's Eve, another- Oh my god, it happened again. A autistic content creator on TikTok called Sienna posted a video of them watching an episode of Bluey which <laughs> You cannot fucking be mad that people are making fun of an adult watching Bluey and tweaking out. Stop it. What does it say on the video? What does it say on the video? Captions aren't working, but Unicorse from Bluey speaking. For New Year's Eve night, we watched Bluey. It's not what you'd expect a New Year's Eve celebration to look like, but for us, it was just perfect. How autistic. This is her channel, okay? Right? That's her. She's not like some non-verbal or like dementoid autist with a carer, right? Autistic NF1? ADHD, postural tachycardia syndrome, right? EDS, BIPOC, they, them, free Palestine. If you're not like a genuinely horribly sad, like example of someone who's hyper limited, you're like non-verbal, the world is a scary place to you, like essentially a mental infant getting reprieved from the horrors of life, from within your broken shell, from Bluey. I can understand being like, oh, don't laugh at that or whatever. This is just someone who uses Tumblr acting like a retard. Of course people are gonna laugh. Posted a video of them watching an episode of Bluey, which is an Australian animated TV show, which is typically aimed at children. And they were stimming in this video. The intention of posting this video was to kind of show that not everyone celebrates in the same way on New Year's Eve. And that's yeah, some, some adults watch Bluey. It's okay. Like, some of us just stay home in our cozy clothes and we watch Bluey. And that's very... How many? Relatable to me, my family and I, we stayed at home. I watched Spirited Away for the first... Spirited Away and Bluey. They're both drawn, so they're both the same, right? They're both the same thing. Bluey and Spirited Away, they're the same thing, right? If it's not weird for me to watch Spirited Away, it's not weird for me to watch Dora the Explorer. First time, and Stop I absolutely it. loved it, and had a Papa John's because I've been listening to a lot of Chapel Rowan music recently, and Feminomenon had me craving Papa John's. If you don't want to crave Papa John's, don't listen to that song. But If you don't want to crave Papa John's, try Papa John's. Yeah, anyway, basically this content was not supposed to be controversial. Unfortunately, you have to be beyond autistic. If you have presence of mind enough to take a position on Israel-Palestine, you can be held responsible for being fucking cringe as fuck. I think that's a fair standard. Stop infantilizing autism, you are literally stimming for the camera. Yeah. Apparently the negative comments that Sienna received seem to be- It's not a fucking convulsion. Stimming isn't like having a fucking- Seizure? Even worse than what I saw on- Wait! So the lady responded to the person saying she's exaggerating even though stimming's real and says, This is 100% not fake stimming. I can't imagine how sad your life is that you make these comments. 
not sad enough to watch Bluey on New Year's Eve and film myself going, I could. I could have gone down that path. I didn't. Instead, I decided to watch people argue about baby talk friends. Saw on Chloe's video, but as I said in the video about Chloe, I wasn't sure whether things had been removed by the time I got to the comment section there. This time, it's definitely all hanging out for us to see. I'll go through some of the comments, but don't worry, this video isn't just gonna be a big blur of negativity. Hopefully there is a larger point here. First, we have faking autism is so wild. We probably should expect this one is pretty standard at this point. It's yeah. this, this lovely problem where autistic content creators can't win. Either you mask or Autistic content creators can't win. Brother, they, they won the second you watched their video. They can't lose. What are you talking about? You can't lose. That person watched your shit. They spent the time to write on your video. They gave you engagement camera and you present yourself like a non-autistic person and you get told by people in the comments that your autism is not valid you clearly <laughs> your autism is not valid so you have no support needs sienna themselves states that they are high support needs autistic individual or you stim freely over an episode of bluey and you're told that you're faking it so i'm not really sure what stim people freely how do you know you don't know don't trust shit online Either way, if people want to tell you that you're faking autism or you've self-diagnosed or all these things people like to say, they're going to say it anyway, regardless of how you behave. People who know nothing about autism are constantly pretending to be scholars of the autistic experience. There's another comment that says the 2020 self- Even if you have autism, you're not. Diagnosed autism. And yeah, probably a lot of people did discover their neurodivergence in 2020 and it probably was a- <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't call it discover, but... A direct result of more people being at home due to the pandemic and then spending more time consuming content online and maybe... <laughs> I agree with her. Yeah, that probably did cause more people to say I have autism. True. Probably not for the reason she uh, thinks. The algorithm kind of fed people the right things and they had the time. The, f the automated autism pipeline. Let's go. Time to self-reflect and put two and two together. The fact is there has been kind of a massive underdiagnosis of autism over Oof. the years. So there are a lot of undiagnosed autistic people. And of course, if we're going to play catch up one day, as we learn more and more about the different ways in which autism can present, it is going to seem like a lot more people are being diagnosed all of a sudden. What's that thing about like left-handedness used to be really stigmatized. And then once that changed, all Still of a sudden is. there were well, loads okay. of people coming out saying I'm left-handed you know the autistic people have always been there it's just that more uh, of us have a name for who we are now the comment on the bluey video with the most thumbs up is thank you for making adults with autism look like children with a yeah. kiss on the end hey at least they put a kiss kiss it all better with another 1000 likes we have stop are we just gonna are we gonna pretend it's unreasonable to expect that an adult posts a video of themselves wiggling to a children's show will give people that impression. By all means, do it, but then they can say this in response to your publicly published media. Stop making autism seem childish. So yeah, as you may have gathered here, a lot of the hate is coming from within the autism community this time, which didn't seem- The, to the enemy within. Oh, oh, oh there's, a, there's a little note. There's a bottom note or at least from other autistic people. Ah, the, the autistic community outgroup. Didn't seem The autistic exiles. Be the case on Chloe's video. I'm not sure if that's because she's been such a big part of the community for such a long time. The community. Oh, so she does. She wasn't correcting a misspeak. She genuinely does mean there's the autistic community. And then outside of that, there are autistic people who aren't part of the autistic community. Yeah, no, no, no. This this shit's demented. I this this is this is messed up. No, no, no. I hate this. I don't know. I half expected the comments from the non-autistic or the allistic individuals, the ones calling me slurs, telling me to unalive myself. You're not. You're not. Mm, if you can talk like this, you're not impaired enough to get a, get out of having the piss ripped out of you for watching fucking Bluey, okay? Was telling me that they wish eugenics were back in actions, and frankly, I have such low expectations. But like, so, so what? 
Peter Griffin avatar says you should be in some sort of institution. Yeah, but why do you give a fuck if someone says that to you? Spectrum dwellers need you <laughs> Asia? Spectrum dwellers is funny as fuck. That's poetry. This comment is art. What else we got? <laughs> What? Is that like Nicolas Cage's face edited onto a woman? I was telling me that they wish eugenics were back in actions and frankly I have such low expectations from those faceless accounts that while they were a concern, they didn't phase me that much. Oh, okay, Ooh. good. But why that much? Why that much? Just don't be phased at all, okay? What was more of a concern was the excessive lateral ableism and lateral violence from other autistic people lateral violence people they talk about how the autistic community says stim freely and then when somebody does stim freely they face this sort of backlash i think there's sure if you're gonna do it just don't be a coward do this thing freely doesn't mean yes we will clamp down on anyone who does anything that makes you feel uncomfortable about it no if i'm gonna say do something freely i'm it's gonna be like yeah don't be a bitch about responses to it probably a high chance here that the backlash is not coming from exactly the same people who say stim freely you yeah know, you not think every so every autistic person is necessarily involved in the autistic community but still the autistic community not even autism support communities or autism communities the autistic community like it's dungeons and dragons or something it's upsetting to see. The conclusion that Sienna draws from this is that these individuals don't want to be associated with higher support needs autistic people. Stimming is something that many lower support needs autistic people will You don't need to watch Bluey on New Year's and film yourself wiggling. The press, okay. particularly if they're out in public or in another situation where they don't feel particularly comfortable to be themselves, which is a lot of the time for autistic people. They may replace stims like hand flapping with things that are less effective for them, but then also more socially acceptable, like nail biting. Therefore, the more kind of stereotypically autistic stims like hand flapping and rocking are more associated with autistic people who don't or can't suppress their stims, which is more likely to be higher support needs autistic people. Autistic Oh, what about those autistic people who can't help but film themselves for TikTok in the hopes of getting attention? If there's someone just doing their shit and you like go up to them and you're like, you suck, you're a fucking weirdo. That's one thing. Someone publishing media for public consumption. Commentary on that media, all fair game people who perhaps need full-time care. And this is likely why stimming is viewed negatively, particularly when it's performed by an adult, because society acts as if disability is something that should be hidden away. No, note how the comments on that video are heavily related to it being a video on social media where we've seen stimming, cute stimming videos get a ton of attention. It's expressions of skepticism that it is authentic to begin with, it's not a criticism of authentic behavior. It's doubt that it's authentic to begin with. No, no, Ashrad, the, the hand wiggling, the hand wiggling. They're also ignoring that it's watching Bluey, although I imagine it gets covered later because it's... Uh, should autistic people watch kids' shows? Mm, kid apostrophe S? You mean kids apostrophe? Anyway. People are pretty uneducated, if not afraid. Of disability. But I think this assumption that stimming. I'm not afraid of disability. I could kill probably like 90% of people in a wheelchair easily. The other 10% are those fucking psychos who do wheelchair rugby, who are would absolutely wreck my shit. Stimming is not something that low or lower support needs autistic people do. It's actually really harmful and kind of needs to go. So I thought I would include a few clips of me stimming. So this is how I stim on a daily basis. I tried my best. <laughs> Please, come on, dude. S to forget that my phone was there recording me. Obviously, I might be a little bit subdued because it's kind of impossible for me to actually forget that my phone is there. It's kind of weird for me to see it back. <laughs> I know what the internal experience is, but I don't know how it looks on the like, outside. Even, even if we go, this is perfectly authentic footage of a creature in the wild. If you can't recognize that this is funny, 
you're deluding yourself. Docks my stimmies. My shit is I rock. I rock. And under very high stress, I, like, flick my arm up. I get very, like, handsy. I become a briefly Italian. Because I've never recorded it before. But yeah, this is how I've always... What is stimming? Stimming is kind of like a tick. Kind of like a self-comfort tick. Always stimmed. As a child, I would flap my hands. Around the age of five or six, I switched over to flapping objects instead. My favourite thing at the moment that I'm using here is my paying in book from my bank. I'm pretty sure I only ordered that from the bank to use it for stim- Is she flexing here? As an artist, you know what really makes me happy? A reminder of the dollar bills I roll in. I mean, because I'd had one previously when they asked me on the application, would you like one? I was- what the hell am I looking at here? Like, yeah, I'll have another one of those, please. I also love a, like, kind of thin notebook. It has to be the right thickness. And then thin magazines, like little magazines. They were some of my favourites throughout my life. I'll shake them until they absolutely fall apart and all the ink starts to come off from where I've been holding it. I revised for my exams by doing this basically, pacing around on my toes, flapping an object, and I'd get into this kind of trance state and I'd start repeating the facts that I needed to learn to myself over and over again and it really helped me to memorize things. To me it's like the best feeling in the world and it's how I'm creative and how- Don't be trusting content creators, okay? She has to at least- is it... None of these people ever acknowledge that just as people who are like, I have a yacht, I have a mansion, they're presenting an image of their life as someone who cares about their profile, their online profile and appearance, and are content creators. They tend not to acknowledge that even within their niche, they're going to have their own set of what is the correct way to present myself. Why isn't it ever like, oh, that could be the case, but we should trust people I know, or like, I vouch for this person or something. Why doesn't it ever get touched? Now, of course, now that I've said that, it's going to fucking come up in the video. She's going to say it, but I haven't, I haven't seen it before. Acknowledgement of that. How I come up with all of my ideas for these videos. It's one of my favorite things about being alive. And had I never found the autistic community online, I probably never would have even told my husband about it. Anyway, I have a whole video about how not stimming is more dangerous than you think. I think we Not stimming is dangerous? We need to continue posting content like Chloe's, like Sienna's, because stimming is extremely important for the mental well-being of autistic people. I'm sorry that someone has made you feel like- Yeah, but is filming it and putting it on Twitter- Oh, putting it on TikTok while you watch a kid's show important for your well-being? you can't express yourself. Whether that was a parent, whether it was a teacher, whether it was peers at school, I'm sorry that you feel- No, they said it's you. Of course. Not to say that Bellis isn't a fucking loser. So Bella says regarding her video, this is why I don't tell people I have autism, because this is fake. This is not how we act. This is just humiliating. Can you please, please stop? So this person is, is a loser, right? But no, they're saying you make them feel like that because they, they associate them with you. And it absolutely is true, and I have personal experience of mentioning an autism diagnosis and then being treated very, very, very differently in real life, particularly somewhere you work. So it could be a strategically wise choice to, if it's not apparent you, you're autistic, don't say it. But that's nothing to do with people Telling you you can't, or like, not to, it's recognizing the effect disclosure will have on you. I wouldn't then go and try and destroy those people or something, I don't know. Like, however, I don't think it's because of people like her, it's probably more just to do with their understanding of autism as like, really, really crippling people. Her effect, the way she presents herself, note! When there is media of someone online, that's not them. That is one way of presenting yourself. That you choose and you curate, presuming you aren't filmed by someone else, unknowingly. It's not necessarily that her and her existence causes a perception of people. How she chooses to present herself online may well incite hatred against other autistic people because it's so cringe. Whether that's 
reasonable or not. Express yourself. I'm sorry that you can't experience that release, that utter flood of joy that stimming brings. I feel a lot of empathy. The utter flood of joy that stimming brings. This is like some autism fetish shit. That's weird. No, I actually think that person is just a <laughs> freak now. I don't believe it. No. The utter flood of joy? It's like a compulsion that you, you, you just do often without even thinking. If you get a flood of joy, I guess from choosing to do something, that's like, that's like a, that's something else. I don't know what the hell that is. For those people because they're just scared. They're scared of how the world treats people who behave like this. A lot of the pushback from the autistic community. Uh, sure. That's a thing. That's a thing. And I just described that thing. However, you can't say that and not recognize the absurd appearance of a fucking adult talking about how, Ooh, I celebrate New Year's by watching Bluey and wiggling my little flippers. You can't ignore that that is the example being shown to people in question is also coming from the fact that Bluey is marketed as a children's TV show. It's an Australian cartoon, which they say is aimed at five to seven year olds. People were attacking me for watching Bluey, again, telling me that it makes me a child. People told me I'm the reason. Yeah, these people, the thing is, these people are losers as well. No, don't do it because the effect it's gonna have on me. Okay, just toughen up. You, lady who did the Bluey watching video, just toughen up. You, person who's like, she needs to not do it. Toughen up, okay? That autistic Everyone. people aren't taken seriously. People told me that I'm the reason they're embarrassed to be autistic. If people, like I've experienced, you let them know you're autistic, and they treat you in a fucked up or weird way, my experience is mostly that they start to think I'm slow or something, and they talk to me like I'm fucking slow, or they talk louder. Your problem's with them. What the commenters say about her potentially having an impact on people's perspective in a negative way is correct. Further to that, when they're like, no, you're gonna make it so I can't blah blah blah, you're why blah 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 blah. Nah. That's not her problem. Let's kind of unpack this idea that you're doing autism and autism advocacy <laughs> a <laughs> thank, disservice. Thank you, Ashrad, I appreciate it. Th there are multiple things that can be true at the same time. That you're encouraging the infantilization of autistic people by displaying yourself enjoying something that could be viewed as childish. For okay, but could that be that they might have treated you that way because they saw stuff like her content? Yes. But I believe they have a responsibility not to be fucking retarded and watch a TikTok and then assume everyone who has autism is a uh, fucking dementoid. Right? Honestly, I really want to argue that Bluey is not just aimed at children. It shares quite a lot of similarities. Like, you can... My point is, you should be annoyed at her and those people. I'm not preaching a message of love towards her or them. To be clear, I'm preaching a me message of hatred. You should be annoyed at her for the influence she's going to have on people's viewpoints, and annoyed at people for allowing that viewpoint to form. ...with the British TV show Peppa Pig. And the people who treat you like that are in immediate contact with you. So they're the people that really matter. What are you going to do? Like, the people around me are treating me like shit. Oh, better fix that by addressing this lady on TikTok. You fucking dumb fuck. It's the people who you're dealing with directly who matter to you. If what you care is how they're treating you. <laughs> ah, I live in a cardboard box. Hmm. I think I'll start posting messages online to try and butterfly effect my way into a mansion. Well, maybe aimed at like slightly older children. I have a young child, so I have watched a decent chunk of both programs. And I can tell you, they deliberately make it appealing to adults. They add in- Appealing? How about tolerable? Now, it's true that there is media that has, for example, at face value, meaning that a kid enjoys and then shit that will go over a kid's head. The Simpsons 
I would say has. I don't know about nowadays. The Simpsons had a ton of jokes that would go over a young audience's head while at face value being enjoyable to children. The Roe versus Wade jo joke. It's Roe versus Wade and the choice is mine. When Homer was thinking about how to cross a lake in the How He Met Marge episode. That's funny at face value because it just seems bizarro. To an adult, you get that it's a fucking abortion joke. A lot of jokes. That I highly doubt that that's the situation we have with this lady wiggling to Bluey, though. Only adults will understand. They add in deeper meanings that are going to go whoosh over most five to seven Give year Give me an example heads. in Bluey. For the adults, because they know. Most of the time, if you have a young child, you know, the adult is the one who gets to choose whether or not that TV program goes on. They choose what they present mm -hmm. to their children. They know if a program is more palatable for an adult audience as well as a child audience, it's going to be on. You're justifying it as, like, totally normal for an adult to choose to watch this over anything else, though. You're gonna have to... You're gonna have to go further. ...on in the home a lot more, and it's gonna be more successful. And that's certainly what they've done with Bluey. And I must also say that Bluey has the cutest theme song in the world. Try... Oh. Ah. This really makes it seem like it's not just weird adult babies who watch it. I understand now. It has the cutest theme song in the world. Thank listen to that and not want to stay more dance which is basically just another type of socially acceptable stimming and wiggle your bum it's a great theme song and dancing is just socially acceptable stimming that's a take and the australian accents are extremely cute it's lovely and it's certainly not just autistic adults who love a bit of bluey i found this article on yeah true and guess what they'll also be ripped on Upworthy. People kept telling me to watch Bluey. I still was not prepared. Some Some adults say it's healing their inner child. You're making it look worse to me. You're making it look way worse to me. Adults say it's healing their inner child, but there's something in the popular Australian kid show for everyone. Now, I doubt this article was written by a seven-year-old. I have a confession to make. I'm 48 years old. My youngest child is in high school, and I can't stop watching Bluey. When people kept telling me I should watch Bluey, my reaction was basically, yeah, I've already done my kiddie showtime. Thank you very much. Then my almost 15-year-old started watching it just to see what the fuss was about, and as I started tuning in, I saw why people looked love it so much. As I got sucked deeper and deeper down the bluey hole, I- I don't want to get sucked down the bluey hole, bro. <laughs> I ain't- don't want to go in any dog hole. Alright? Okay, bluey. Let's get a little blast of this. Granted, we watched like five seconds, okay? I'm still not convinced though, okay? saw why so many adults say the show is healing their inner child now i'm hooked along with the rest of there was an episode about an aunt who can't have kids now is that done in a way to touch the soul or is that to introduce that concept to children who are likely to encounter that at some point in real life of my family of 40 somethings and young adults we even have favorite episodes that we re-watch for goodness sake yeah and in my house there's an episode called takeaway and my husband recommended it to me and he put it on for me just for me to watch the author also states that many therapists are recommending bluey to their clients for folks with positive childhoods the show is nostalgic and comforting for those with tough childhoods, the show can feel healing. And for people who are raising their own kids, it can be a resource to help them be better parents. Many autistic people have had difficult upbringings for various reasons, feeling misunderstood. And we may have more of a reason to seek comfort as adults in a chaotic world. It makes sense that we'd want to watch a bit of Bluey maybe. And if you don't want to watch Bluey, that's fine. But if you do, it's also fine. There are loads of hilarious... Do it, whatever. The thing is... When you choose to watch Bluey, you're choosing not to watch anything else. We judge people for their taste all the time. You have to argue for special protection for watching kid shows to not get ripped on like people will rip on you for your taste in anything else. And I don't think you're going to pull it off. Self-aware, slightly self-deprecating TikToks from autistic adults who love Bluey. Sorry, what is this TikTok? Neurodivergent as heck. Auti- wait. My autistic ass when bluey. And if they're autistic, 
put on Bluey. Autistic people watch Bluey. Adults what? who love Bluey. There's lots of people showing. Everyone has that one autistic friend with fluffy hair and a Bluey obsession. I love their incredible Bluey collections and bedspreads. I can't like things in a chill way. No, I haven't figured out how to do that. When I like something, that's all I think about. Someone even made these lovely communication cards with Bluey characters. Holy fuck, imagine your autistic hyperfocus being fucking Bluey. There are countless TikToks of people so trying sorry. to diagnose <laughs> characters as autistic or ADHD. There is a reason why Bluey has connected with autistic adults. Bluey has a 9.4 IMDb rating, for goodness sake. Who's rating that? Who's leaving these ratings? Is it 5 to 7 year olds? I don't think so. The episode Sleepy Time is rated a 9.8. Eight. Clearly a lot of people are loving it, and I'm sure okay. it's not just autistic people. So Hang out with them then. Sometimes you need these things to make you feel cozy and to make you feel like everything's gonna be okay, because this world can be a harsh place. The last few years have been pretty brutal for various reasons, and if you're an autistic person, the volume on that may be turned up even more. If you stick on something that- I think it's a slime from Dragon Quest, Trey aimed at children, the chances are the themes are going to be lighter, it's going to be easier to watch if you're not in a great emotional state. Unless it's Disney where everyone dies all the time. I don't know, man. Purple Ella, who is an autistic creator, they post shorts showing off some of their collections okay. and they like to collect Lego and jelly cats. But my sister, who is turning 18 this month, she loves a good jelly cat. She's not autistic. My stepdad okay. absolutely loves Lego. He still loves many of the things. He right. This is your defense ultimately extended defense of someone filming themselves for social media wiggling talking about they celebrate new year's by watching bluey it's fine to laugh at someone for that it's absolutely fucking fine i like collectible toys and shit it might it might even have some connection to me being autistic oh no you can't laugh at it now of course you can used to love when he was much younger. So what I'm saying is I don't think liking things that can sometimes be perceived as like not aimed at your age range is necessarily something that's exclusive to autism. I do think obviously autistic people can be more intense about their interests, more focused on their interests, so maybe it's, you know, more obvious. Like a lot of these people who like Bluey, they turn their whole bedroom into a shrine to Bluey, you know? It's very obvious that they're very into it. And also a lot of autistic people, you know, if we're not masking, or maybe sometimes if we are masking, we can kind of not really care about social norms in the same way. I find that there's so- Yeah. Take the not care pill. Very good. And things that I just don't feel embarrassed about and other people do. And I feel like it's something I'm supposed to feel embarrassed about and it's supposed to be not socially acceptable, but I'm just like, but I just don't. I can't, I can't help it. Adapt now. Take that. Take that and adapt to the point where you don't fucking care if people say shit on TikTok. Hmm. <laughs> and so we may be more willing to be open about having these interests, whereas other people, you know, might keep their comfort shows to themselves. On my most recent Am I the Asshole video, I reacted to a post where a 19-year-old girl had been bullied by family members because she received a doll for Christmas, and quite a lot of people in the comments left a snippet from this C.S. Lewis quote, which I really love and think is so appropriate. Right, now we're, t now we're talking about an example where it's immediate family. Right? Yeah. When I was 10, I read fairy tales in secret and would have been ashamed if I had been found doing so. Now that I am 50, I read them openly. When I became a man, I put away childish things, including the fear of childishness and the desire to be very grown up. This rings so true for my life as well. The vegan shoe brand Koi brought out these Teletubby boots, which I really wanted and I really, really regret not getting. It's okay because I'm wearing a Winnie the Pooh shirt now. It's made up for it. But <laughs> if I had Again, this is different to watching Bluey and filming yourself wiggling. But I feel like this is being used as an extended, extended, guys, that's totally normal to do. No. Clothing and merchandise that uses child targeted designs or, or things that are meant for children as a as a pattern for instance i think is also very different like having a winnie the pooh print shirt is different to watching winnie the pooh intently and having it be like this is the best thing in the world yes yes devious you're correct what kicked this off was people being accused of faking their stims 
Now, the extended defense of that has gone to the point of loads of adults like things that are kind of kiddy. Now, age 27, nobody... They don't film themselves wiggling and put it on TikTok. Nobody would have cared. Nobody would have batted an eyelid at all. I really want a shirt that says, don't look at me, I'll come. But if I had it worn that when exists. I was age 12, ooh, I would have been destroyed by my peers. I would have been bullied, telling people that they need to grow up because of their okay. interests or their soft toys. That is a sign of immaturity. Part of That's not what any of the people... Notice, none of the examples of people saying things about the people engaging these things were about, you need to grow up instead of enjoying these toys. It was, look, this is social media, you're filming yourself. I doubt the authenticity. Or going, you're a fucking freak. Who is she responding to? Being an adult is freedom and autonomy to make your own decisions and your own choices about what you like and what you want to engage with. So if liking childish things is not something that's inherent to autism, why are autistic people infantilized? And what the hell is infantilization anyway? So infantilization is treating somebody who isn't a child as if they are a child. Often because you see them as less than, less intelligent. Less than. How about if they're willful, planned, where the hell is it? Here we go. Sienna posted a video of them watching. How about because people willfully record this video? Look at how they look. Check it. Choose to put it up. Posted a video of them. You think people viewing this person and infantilizing them, a result of just thinking they're less than, not because they're presenting themselves in a way that signals being hyper childlike. Oh, my best thing I want to do on New Year's is watch Bluey and wiggle my little hands and smile with the with the fluoride stare. You don't think that's part of it? You don't think there's a way for that not to fit into like some sort of intersectional hierarchy? I'm better than you, shit. And what you want to engage with. So if liking childish things is not something that's inherent to autism, why are autistic people infantilized? And what the hell is infantilization anyway? So infantilization is treating somebody who isn't a child as if they are a child. Often because you see them as less. What, like putting on a children's show for them? Hmm. Less hmm. intelligent, hmm. less human. The Wikipedia page for infantilization. Treating them as less human. No, treating them like a child because you view them as less human. Do we treat children like children because we view them as less human? It's quite short, but it actually mentions autism directly in one of the paragraphs, as well as mentioning racism and sexism. Another specific disability often infantilized is autism, which is viewed as a children's disorder, with many autism organizations being run by neurotypical parents of autistic children, and most charities dedicated to autism focused on children. The Why do you think that is? extreme focus on children essentially denies the existence of autistic adults within public no, it consciousness. No, leading to Within the public consciousness. Why does everyone suddenly have autism? Why do you think that focus is there? And it's not just a focus on children, is it? It's a focus on low-functioning children. Children who are debilitated. People, children who are non-verbal. I think it's very important to make sure children have a chance. It's easier to support a child into being an adult that's going to be okay than it is to put less resources into that, end up with more clusterfuck adults, and then try to just help those adults. It just makes more sense. Also, if you are like a, you know, like a higher functioning autistic kid and you become a higher functioning autistic adult, what do you need? Like, what do you need? And how much of a problem are you for other people? Let's be real. Of course, people who, who are impacted by a kid who needs an extreme amount of help are going to try and look for help with that, right? People are knowingly discriminating against autistic adults. And I read a paper from 2011 that came to a very similar conclusion. Autistic people are infantilized because we don't see autistic adult representation in the media. Autistic adults that would be that would be they're ignored or not thought about as much right why would there being a focus on the children cause the adults to be viewed like children is the suggestion that 
because people's knowledge of autism comes from examples of children they associate it with with being childlike for charity stuff it's definitely kids uh there are there are a whole bunch of shows where it's like oh and this this character is what's the fucking detective the show with the detective or whatever are everywhere but conspicuously missing from the rhetoric of autism support group and charity websites the personas of popular books movies and television that's not this part isn't true charity stuff kids a lot yeah look at autism speaks for instance popular books movies and tv no and the events chronicled in contemporary news articles too often autistic adults are also missing from the productive workplace so Excuse me, what the fuck are you implying? In tech? In what kind of workplaces? I'm, I, I guarantee you, you fucking throw a stone in Silicon Valley, you're gonna hit 10 autists. In contemporary news articles. Too often, autistic adults are also missing from the productive workplace. So Jack, who is a person they've used as an example throughout the paper, may be denied the accommodations afforded to other adults with disabilities because businesses are unaware of the existence of autistic adults, much less how to support them. That's not infantilization of autistic adults. That's like a that's like a view of autism as a children's condition. And we're talking about people dealing with the perception of them as an adult as being inherently childlike and the view people have of autistic adults. This is a different issue entirely. Jill another person who was used as an example, may fear disclosing her diagnosis to potential employers because of the harmful stereotypes they hold, stereotypes caused at least in part by society's infantilization of autism. Jack and Jill deserve better, as do all autistic adults. Right, that's real, that happens. Probably wise not to disclose it if you don't have to. I think that's too simple though, because I think a lot of it comes from Probably fear of repercussions if they don't teach, uh, if they don't treat a special needs, a dementoid, properly. I don't think you can ignore the element of, oh, this person is in this category, I need to be fucking careful, and then they, then they end up treating you poorly in their pursuit of treating you absolutely correctly the proper way you treat a dementoid. Also states, adults are not seen as cute or innocent or as beacons of hope for the future. Adults are less easily manipulated and have legal rights regarding the use of their images. In contrast, children are rarely compensated for the use of their images and are unlikely to bring lawsuits for defamation should they find their image what endorsing the ideals fuck? they disparage. Children, therefore, present the face of choice for virtually all autism support societies and most autism charities. You think... Image rights are why they use kids? You don't think a sad story of like a kid who can't even talk is more likely to bring in money than like... Uh... How much money do you fucking think Autism Speaks would get if they used me as, <laughs> as the face of autism? Come on. This was obviously 2011, but nowadays you search autism on TikTok. Even if you look on YouTube or YouTube channels, you're gonna see a lot of parents who plaster their autistic children all over social media. A lot of that stuff yeah. continues to come up. Guess what? You can also do that. You can also use yourself as a tool for that. Oh, see what they're doing with their autistic kids? Did you know that you as an autist can use yourself the same way? Do you think that's impossible though? Up, despite the fact that we do have more autistic self-advocates these days. And then unfortunately when- Do you not think perhaps it is reasonable to question authenticity of these people doing their uh, viral stimming vids? Hmm. Parents want to use their autistic kids for attention. Is it not possible that autists want to use their diagnosis of themselves for attention? Could that never happen? Autistic advocates who are able to consent to uploading themselves, you know, like Sienna and Chloe uploading clips of themselves stimming, they end up facing backlash like this and being told they're faking because unfortunately it just doesn't fit this. Stop. People shit on parents who, you, who parade their kids all the time. This narrative that people see about autism of puzzle pieces and crying children. I will say I have seen even on clips of autistic children though people kind of saying things like, oh, they're yeah. not autistic, they're just naughty. So in general, they're just- Or hating on the parents.
is a lack of public education about autism and all the different varied ways that autistic people can present. But one thing that I think is clear is I don't think the infantilization of autism has anything to do with autistic people picking the wrong interests for themselves. That's ridiculous. And it's probably worth noting here. Yeah, but it might have something to do with the with autistic people um, publishing media curated to look a certain way that is very childlike and makes you look like a dementoid. The woman who showed herself watching Bluey, I wasn't confident whether she'd actually be verbal or not. That many autistic people will pick interests that are more associated with people much older than them. For example, autistic teenagers who are really fascinated with one like obscure period of time, or they love knitting, or they're doing college maths when they're like 13. I think the thing is with autistic people, we're often kind of just on our own track, doing our own thing. We're not necessarily listening to the noise around us about what- The people who post themselves on TikTok are though what's trendy right. and what's the most socially acceptable band to listen to, the most socially acceptable things to be interested in. Sometimes if we're masking, we might be, and you get autistic people who have special interests and in things that are, you know, within popular culture. One of my special interests is Taylor Swift. I mean, to be honest, she wasn't always as cool. You're just a woman. That's not autism. Cool as she is now <laughs> though. When I was 13, there's a clip of me talking about. A lot of people say they don't like Taylor Swift online, but I really love her. I think she's really great. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's funny to look back on. How times have changed. But yes, childishness is not a trait listed in the DSM-5. And of course, watching a children's TV show, enjoying watching children's TV shows sometimes does not mean you are a childish person and it does not mean that you are a child and it does not mean that you should be denied any sort of rights or respect. Are you genuinely trying to argue against someone on TikTok who said bring back eugenics? What rights is anyone seriously trying to deny? Respect. The characters in the show may be children, but you- Well, respect. In terms of, like, respecting my rights, sure. If someone thinks I'm a fucking mongoloid, go right ahead and say shit. You I'm are not. You are an adult. Another reason maybe that- Unless it's fun to argue with you, then I do care people can be infantilized as well and that I've maybe felt in my own life is because we often have these spiky profiles so we can be like really good at something and then not so good at something else and often we can be not so good at things that I can- Uh, I think masking is just any strategy to hide elements of you related to your autism. So if you have like a tick or a stim, deliberately not doing it. So I guess if you have an autistic hyper-focus on something that you think is too childish and you'll be judged for, you hide that. Considered to be really basic parts of, you know, human functioning, I suppose. And so people can then see you struggling in that area and assume you need support in all these other areas. Or alternatively, people may see you like, you know, doing super well and performing above average in a particular area and then assume that you need no help at all. Like when people assume if you do well academically, then you can't possibly struggle with anything. She throws in these nuggets of like, all of that, yeah, true. That doesn't make videoing yourself watching Bluey on New Year's Eve and wiggling less something that's fair game to comment on. And you must be really, really happy and content in all other areas of your life and you can't possibly be drowning. You can very much still be drowning. <laughs> I don't believe autistic people are to blame for their infantilization and asking autistic people to mask in order to prevent people from behaving poorly. You don't think, you don't think this shit playing on the left is questionable at all? Autism clussy trend? Come towards on. them does not seem like the pathway towards autism acceptance to me. We shouldn't have to suppress our true selves in order to be taken seriously as a full human being, even if people can't relate to the things that we're interested in. Suppressing your true self is a weird way to describe not presenting yourself in published media that way and being unwilling to accept that some people are going to find it demented and weird and funny. That doesn't matter, that's irrelevant. We shouldn't have to smother the things we love. Autistic advocates online shouldn't have to dress up in a suit and sit down politely with quiet hands just so they can be more palatable to other people. I don't just so they can be more palatable. Yes, they do have to do that to be more palatable to other people. You don't have to do it, but you can't force people to view you the way you want them to view you. You have to either accept that the way you present yourself is going to result in that perception, 
Or if you can't accept that, then you do have to change your presentation. But I think that choice has to be yours slash ours slash mine. Not, I should be able to present myself any way I want and be perceived how I want. No. I don't think that's the point of what we're trying to do here at all. Even if you can hide your traits and suppress your stims, it is actually exhausting. And you're just fed into the rhetoric that stimming or watching a kid's show or whatever else automatically makes you a child. And then in turn, you're feeding into the you should mask in order to be accepted, meaning that you too will have to continue masking. By attempting to shame people into complying with societal norms, you're prepared just don't be shamed. Situated <laughs> the idea that because we still I think you have too much too much social uh connection and instinct. Okay? Just don't be shamed. Tim, we cannot be taken seriously. I also just want to remind you that somebody treating you badly because of your diagnosis or because of harmless behaviors that you display such as watching Bluey in your cozy clothes is never your fault. Don't let anybody they're not, though. They haven't spied on you just doing that. In which case, they'd be like some weird fucking peeping Tom shit. They're commenting on someone publishing media of themselves doing that. Very different between comment commenting on a video of someone doing something that they filmed themselves. It's very different to just commenting on someone doing that in situ. Very fucking different things make you think you're the one in the wrong. Can anyone explain to me why there are autistic creators on this app accused of being childish, being accused of infantilizing autism? Accused, accused of being childish. Oh, I love Bluey! Ah! That's why. Of course. For sharing their special interest. If you wanted to be accused of being childish, would you disagree that that would be a good way to achieve it? Are you going to tell me it's not? And Bluey, which, yes, is a children's show, but this is the exact same app that has platformed Nanalan, which is another show aimed at children, Nanalan? to the extent that it has gone viral. The creators of the show have ended up being interviewed about 20 years after they stopped making the show. Is it because society loves quirky people? And is that a nostalgia thing, perhaps? I don't know what the fuck that is loves allowing people to indulge their inner child actually just hates autistic people a reminder that this is probably <laughs> probably a small section of loudmouth people on tiktok which is not always a particularly nice place so while of course ableism does exist out in the real world and people don't understand what <laughs> autism is i think it is important to remember that this comment section still is not necessarily a good reflection of how people maybe hate towards autistic people out in the real world. There are a lot of non-judgmental, kind, open-minded people out there. I managed to marry one of them <laughs> and I'm hopefully raising one of them as well. Anyway, watch some Bluey if you want to. I'd recommend no, it good. or do whatever else you I'm love right. doing. Life's too short to care about what other people think. I know it's a cliche, but are you really gonna be like- Yeah, so no, I agree with this message in some ways. Mm. Care about other people, what other people think. If you're trying to communicate something, you have to care. But if it's about doing what you want to do, yeah, you've nullified all of this. This message means not giving a fuck when someone says, like, I want eugenics to make you not exist. Lying there on your deathbed one day. That would be following that advice. And be like, I really wish I'd masked more. I really wish I'd done less of the things I love. I wish I presented myself as more of an upstanding member of society at the expense of my own mental health. That would have been really great. And personally, when I see somebody completely owning the things that they love and who they are, it makes me so happy. And even if I can't relate, even if my interests are very different to theirs, it makes me feel like it's okay for me to love. Something that comes to mind is... I'm sure you can harmfully suppress yourself in many ways. However, there isn't zero value to suppressing things or controlling yourself because I think maybe skill isn't the right term, but discipline requires practice. It's, it's another of these things that's like a muscle get, that gets stronger the more you practice it. So it's not like you get zero zero value at all of controlling yourself 
whatever I love and to be open about that. I can live unselfconsciously too and that's lovely. With our lack of embarrassment, maybe we could even help the holistic people a bit too. Maybe they could learn from the autistic people. They could, there's loads of things that non-autistic people could learn from autistic people. If you want something a little bit lighter and happier that's connected to autism, I recently did a video reacting to Instagram reels that were posted by actually autistic people and you seem to love them as much as I did. It was so much. Harry, will, will for a world where everyone takes that viewpoint though. Regarding, regarding like, you know, I'm not talking like, oh, shit in the street, watching cartoons, doing whatever you like like that. With, within, within discussion of like, hobbies fun if you like to support my content if you want me to post more videos of myself flopping objects then feel free to join my patreon it starts at just four us dollars if you want to see more videos of me flapping my stuff about join my patreon and she doesn't understand why people are skeptical she doesn't do you genuinely not understand the appearance this gives you recognize there's some financial incentive to present yourself this way. Dollars a month to join, so basically a dollar a week. You get two exclusive videos every month and access to the amazing Discord server community, the Antisocial Club, and there's also a podcast. I also. Wait. Is this like an autistic support community with a pay gate? <laughs> so basically a That's fucking incredible. Do you have to pay four dollars a month to be considered part of the autistic community? Dollar a week, you get two exclusive videos every month and access to the amazing Discord server community, the Antisocial Club, and there's also a Holy. podcast. I also post outtakes on there. There are three tiers to choose from, so you can have a look at what I offer on there if you're interested. Thank you so much. Bye. I would be uncomfortable having a condition-based community behind a pay gate. I wouldn't be comfortable doing that personally, but get that dollar. Get that, get that bag, sis. <laughs> I would either have it not have that gate or not do it at all. I wouldn't be like, hmm. You can make an argument that there being a cost sort of uh, helps filter out bad actors, like if it gets popular enough. But if I said, I don't think I'd ever be in a situation where I'd say that honestly. I, the only time, I know that if I ever made that argument, it would be a cope for it. Damn, I can milk these autists. Right? True. Are you even a real autist if you don't post wiggling videos onto TikTok? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to find people who have autism diagnoses from reputable clinical psychologists, at the very least. I'm going to stalk them and film them and catch clips of them stimming. I'm going to feed those clips into an AI to train it to recognize authentic stimming. And then we can start scanning TikTok videos with it. Autism scanner, yes.